Hello guys and welcome to episode 26 of the Pokemon Hawk Nuzlocke In today's episode we're going to be making our way to Ice Path aka the longest episode ever once we get there Because I am bad at mazes um, I updated my team, I'm going to go through my team I gave everyone items So I'm just going to go through my items, my team So Hulicop got a Walk On Berry for the Electric Types Patrick got a Charty Berry for the Rock Types Pam got the Amulet Coin so we can get money and I didn't think she needed a berry, and the amulet coin is a useful item. Um, Brian's obviously still holding the miracle seed. We don't have a better item for Brian besides her berry. Steve has the charty berry just in case it has to come in one day. Hopefully not soon, because I want to grind this guy up and use it, but he might have to come in one day and save us. And then Hilliot has the experience show because we want Hilliot to evolve, because Hilliot will be pretty good once it evolves. Uh, I felt like that last episode was like forever ago. But it's like, <laughs> happened on Tuesday, which is like three days ago. Which, I'm sorry for not having an episode up yesterday, or any video up yesterday. <laughs> I just, uh, woke up late, so, yeah. I'm gonna win for sure. He's gonna win for sure. This is gonna be an epic battle. I'm gonna lose the Nuzlocke. One minute in, I'm already losing the Nuzlocke to a Natu. Natu. And, well... I'm hoping we can get enough experience by the time we take on Khalil, because we are slightly underleveled. We have three Pokemon that might be on par. We're slightly underleveled on those Pokemon. Actually, we're underleveled at all. We're, like, we're completely underleveled. Like, what was his name? Um, not Proton. What's his? Archer's Ace was level 37, I believe. So, yeah, <laughs> that happens. This is why I gave you a walk on Billy. 200 IQ. Bum, bum, bum. Eat that berry. Eat this. Dude, that would have killed. That would have killed. I'm afraid. I'm putting that walk on berry back on this thing. 200 IQ berry place right here. Uh, it was one league battle, one team prep, and I <laughs> already playing competitive in game. But really, no. I'm, 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 I'm being careful. I have to be maximum careful. I was like, okay, Holocop, what can a die do? A rock type move, it might take because most rock types are physical and there's no really good special special rock type move. Actually, I think in Generation 4 there is. I thought it was Generation 5. No mind, I'm just an idi idiot, so. But if you're watching me, you should already know that. Um, I don't know I, I don't know if I said in this video, but we reached 9 subscribers, which is dope. And um, YouTube is being a uh, complete garbage platform it's showing me my views are down which I can totally believe but then one of my videos says it has no views but nine minutes of watch time and like it has a like like so I know someone watch it it's not like YouTube's like freaking out and giving me fake watch time it's like no views that's my insane audience retention right though the maximum audience retention also I'm gonna heal up helicopter I know I'm five feet away, but I'm scared. I'm scared for my life. Uh, we should've got items. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go get my some items. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I actually didn't realize the mahogany shop was open. Um, I thought I was misremembering that shop actually, like, reopening. But it does open. And, well, I'm going back again. You might be like, you have low IQ, don't you? You just forgot to buy items. But no, I've got to get an item. A long time ago, I told you guys to remind me. And by you guys, I meant remind myself. Also, I think it was that guy, but... We're gonna assume it isn't. And we're gonna go up to here because I actually do think this is... If it's not this guy, I'm misremembering my entire life. I got chased by my post, then they disappeared. Someone just for that line. One more thing, I found this under the counter. It makes me uncomfortable. Could I give it to you? Yes, you can. I have gotten the TM Sludge Bomb. Okay, TM3 says Sludge Bomb. Thank you. Uncomfortable. No, it doesn't. It makes me feel really comfortable. That's a moveset going on. Pam right now. I'm throwing down Pam. If we don't have Poison Jab. Um, do we have Poison Jab? I don't think we do have Poison Jab. Yeah, we don't have Poison Jab. So, Sludge Bomb is Stab on Pam. Um, even though Pam is an adamant nature that loads our special attack, if it's attack. Um, Sludge Bomb is a 90 base power move, which is pretty good, so... Uh, Poison Stink. Okay, which one's gonna do more? Sludge Bomb or Poison Stink? There's only one correct answer, and that's Poison Stink. Poison Stink always poisons. Zero chance not to poison. 
which is amazing. No. Dude, I love when I use poison sting. It's like, nope, no poison. But when my opponent uses poison sting, it's like, oh. You use 5,000 antidotes? Well, here's another poison. Ah. The life of Pokemon player being hatched. Um, someone was actually telling me that Pokemon's too luck based because everything just like a lot of things is RNG. But I think that's where a lot of fun Pokemon, uh, uh, fun of Pokemon comes in. You have to play around hats, and if you do get hats, you try to play around that and try to become better at the game or outplay. It brings more stuff into the, the Pokemon game. You look strong, good trainers take it. Can you believe I am tired at 9:20 a.m.? Actually, you guys probably can. Um, yeah, I haven't slept. Sleep is for the week. Like I said, I overslept yesterday, so. <laughs> this is another Mareep. This is another electric type. I am so lucky of giving Helicopter new blade, but I did not heal Helicopter, so. <laughs> it doesn't really matter the long run. We're gonna switch out to Brian. Brian has the magical leaf. Miracle boost um, move. And that would have done a lot of damage. Not kill, because I have 200 IQ and give it a walk on belly, but. <laughs> I don't think we want to take one. Oh, I'm also planning on having showdown content, or maybe even a top- Okay, so here's an idea for the video. I don't know, if you're watching this, give me ideas on how this sounds. Top 5 Glalian forms I want to see in Sword and Shield. Um, but instead of doing like top 5 like total, um, I'll be doing top 5 from every generation, but generation 7, because it's too new in my opinion, and generation 1, because those are so many regional variants of generation 1, I don't want to see anymore. Or I do not want to see a lot of them. Even though Glalian Reasoning is my- New Lord and Savior, and my one of my favorite Glalion Pokemon already revealed, but I do not want to see Kanto Pokemon. Also, it will make me have a top five, and not a bit top six. Some real keyword in the title. I think I'm gonna do that. I just need to make a list. One of my um, I'm thinking about it, and I would love to see a Lolan um, Giraffefig, Giraffefig, yeah, Giraffefig, or um, a Lolan. A little Glalin, um, Stantlon, like one of those, it's, would actually like help that Pokemon a lot and potentially make them competitive viable. Because Stantlon is kind of viable, while Giraffe Frig, Giraffe, Giraffe Frig, I don't know how to say his name, I'm sorry. Um, it's not that very useful in the competitive scene. Stantlon is slightly useful, like you can use them here or in you. Giraffe Frig? so much. It's kind of low on the tier list. Slightly lower. Here it grew to level 13. Here it's gonna evolve at like level 30,000. Nope, this won't do at all. And I believe I have to go down to avoid this nest channel, but I will go down to get this. Nope, it's top. I can tell that you're a good channel by looking at you. I try to read that. It's probably better that I'm not reading stuff right now. I'm, I'm not in the mind. I do want to record two videos today, um, two Nuzlocke videos. I'm going to be recording this, rendering it, and might record another one. So, hopefully that goes all well. I don't know if I can render and record. Also, this is a great lead so I didn't give my belly back to Holocop. So, Holocop, I'm going to have to get that belly. Please remind me, Holocop. But that did nothing. He could have got a flinch. He could have got a bond. But he got neither of those because he is a bad Pokemon player. And when you want to know what happens to bad Pokemon players, they lose. Unless they get insanely lucky, which he obviously did it. Because luck is skill based. No matter what anyone tells you, luck is skill based. Ah, uh, I see. Imagine my Billy. I cannot get this electric type pursuit. Uh, Patrick's actually my go to. Um, I'm gonna put a rock Billy on Patrick because Patrick has fine type moves that might come in handy. Like, someday. Thunder Wave! I just in the recording here. Please? Can I end the record? I don't like this recording already. Uh, this recording is uh, pretty bad. We're like 10 minutes in. And you got paralyzed by a Magnemite. I don't like this recording. No. This is this is a bad episode. I'm going to call this the 200 IQ berries. Berry play. There we go. And just put a big berry in the thumbnail with like the little... L little thumbnail, like logo, quote unquote logo, serious logo. Whatever it is, I made it in five seconds. Actually, that was not my original logo, by the way. I changed it compl almost completely in the background. 
Uh, it was actually really hilarious. I was just playing around with stuff. I'm like, wait a minute, this looks pretty cool. I like it. Gonna use it. <laughs> uh, I really want to improve myself as a, gra a graphic artist, quote unquote. I'm not really a graphic artist, but I like to become better at making thumbnails and layouts. It's something I really want to do. Graphic design is my passion. I'm sorry. Bad jokes from 2011 should stay in 2011. Actually, I don't know what year it came out, but it was probably 2011. We need to get a Billy to this Pokemon. Let's go to our Billy. Let's give it a walk on Billy. We don't want to use. Why can you. Why do you even have the option of using electric berries? I know it does nothing, but. Oh no, you can throw it in like the little puffin thing, right? Not puffin thing. Oh, puffin, yeah, puffin thing. We're about to this guy. We found the Ultra Ball. Also, I'm going to be battling everyone. I think I just need to battle literally everyone I see. I do anything to get my hands on real Pokemon. No, he's going to steal Holy Cop. Holy Cop is the rarest Pokemon of them all. It cannot die. It can never die. Pokemaniac Zack has a right hunt. Now, I'm going to switch out into my Patrick and just use my Berry just so I can save. This is actually the 200 IQ Berry play episode. But that would be stupid. That would actually lower my IQ. So. You always want to keep up your 200 IQ. Your IQ um, flustinates up and down just all over the time. It's like... I don't know where I was going with them. I was going to try to make a comparison, but I didn't have a comparison in mind, so... Like, I can't make a comparison off the top of my head. Magical Leaf! Kill! And the story does not work like story until Generation 5. See, that's funny. I played Generation 2, which didn't have abilities, which doesn't matter. But I played a lot of Generation 4, but I always remember Story just making the Pokemon live at 1 HP. I feel like that should not be like that. But then again, I played a lot of Generation 5, Generation 6. Headbutt? Are we here yet? It's once a long headbutt? Wait a minute. I thought that was Pam. But that's better than Pound. Get rid of Pound. I would have said no, by the way, if I knew it was um, actual Heriot and not Pam. But yeah, it's just funny how Stardew is just so garbage Generation 4 and then it's like, oh, it's an actual good ability. Also, 1920. 1920 by 1080. Actually, don't you? Ah, uh, you made me lose a polyrag. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to battle you. I'm going to win and take your money. That's what I'm going to do about it. It's like, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to repay me? No, you're paying me. It's the lowest. Also, a lot of these guys are level 26 while we just battle like level 30s. Shout out to good game balance. That's one of my biggest. Okay, well, obviously, I've said this multiple times. One of my biggest gripes about Generation 2 is just balance in the like levels. It's just not the greatest. I feel like that could have been easily improved on in Generation 2 Remix. Because they didn't have to make the reason by stretch. They didn't really have to balance much stuff. See, they kind of did have to balance stuff, but. I feel like that should have been a priority. Balancing the region, like the second region, Kanto. Balance that entire region, the wild Pokemon, make the match all, like, usable to grind against at least. Because the levels are actually insane for counter um, counter gym leaders, I believe. Which I am, that's one of the reasons that I do not want to make this a main series going versus the Kanto gym leaders. Because I feel like I'm going to have to grind for days, actually. Come and be battling low level Pokemon. Unless I get access to Mount, Mortar, or Mount Silver, like, really early. Or the Victory Road actually has like level 40s and I'm misremembering some stuff. Grinding up is going to be a pain. I don't have experience codes, I don't have real candy codes, I just, I can't use treats at all. Which I originally wouldn't do, but the speed up in this game is only like 3 times, it's not that much. I'm used to like going like 18 times as fast. Also, can I just point out how good Holocop is? Holocop is a legend. Dragon Rage just does so much damage. I, like, I was actually saying Dragon Rage was like garbage list, list late in the game, but I forgot balance in this game is non existent. There's only reason I really want to play a ROM hack, but I told myself I would not play any ROM hacks of Pokemon games until I, well, at least on this channel, until I complete every Pokemon game from, or one Pokemon game from each generation. And that's including Remix. I really want to play a Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire as my next games. But I cannot get Citra to walk. Just forget about it. Just forget about it. Well, that was a very interesting battle, and now was it? Dude, I think this is the guy that gives me a water stone, so. I accept that. He's gonna call me and be like, oh, I got a water stone. If I snag anything good, thank you. What was his name? We have to check. If I see this name on my bottom of the screen, you know what's happening. 
I have to check the car every single time. Wilton, nice to meet you. I hope you call me a lot. And by call me a lot, oh, is this what? Oh, I want you said about? Yeah, I haven't got an encounter this route. I forgot I can get encountered. That's dope. Okay, we're gonna do this like three times. But we're gonna get an encounter this route. And continue our way to Ice Path. And when I say encounter this route, I mean I'm gonna be using this headbutt three times. Three times the charm. Okay, four times the charm. I, I, I misspoke. I meant fourth time. Th fourth time is the charm. Fifth charm is this charm. We're playing a Generation 5 looking game. Looks kind of worse than Generation 5, but... Actually, this game looks better than Generation 5, but Generation 5 um, was ambitious. For, like, the DS. Like, I like Generation 5, and I dislike Generation 5. It was, like, really ambitious. Also, why did I go this way? I could have access it from up there, but... I'm gonna use my Repel. I do not want another Water Pokemon. I know you can get, um, Weeping Bells up here, but... I forgot what other abilities, um, other abilities, yeah, other, um, Pokemon you can get up here. Hopefully it's good. I'm not gonna use my Max Repel until I really need it. Also, I bought Super Repels, by the way. I bought Super Potions, Super, um, Hyper Potions, and Super Repels. Did I heal my team up, even though I should? Yeah, the grass is so close. Oh, we got an item. The Match Revive, aka Money Revive. I don't know. Bad jokes. What? I like this music. Holy cop. This is our first encounter, by the way. I encountered this as my first encounter. Like, if this one's right, I don't get an encounter. But if I catch it, I get a level 40 entail of a day. And this is my definitely my armor. Please don't want to make Please be so intimidated that you want to stay in. Okay, well. What's our next encounter? What could we got done this route? Like, literally. What was so bad that we could have got down this route? Well, it's so good that we could have got on this route if we didn't encounter an Entei. Because that technically is our first encounter. But technically it's a static, quote unquote, static roaming Pokemon. I do want to catch all the um, legendaries in this game, just so I can have them. So that's going to be breaking um, Nuzlocke Walls, but I just want to have them in my parts. Because I believe you have to have something, um, or some kind of event is triggered when you catch all the legends. Yeah, you get a Reaping Bell. Shout out to Reaping Bell. I'm going to be etching the grass now. I want to see what I can get. I'm hoping I can get a free bass. I love a free bass and just take back my end table. I'd like to have um, Raikou touch me. Do you imagine if we encountered a Raikou in this route and then we got um, a free bass in the water? I'd have to get it. Catch it. It's pretty much the same Pokemon. It's an extension of that Pokemon. An extension of that battle. But we're not going to find any free... Ooh! I would love to polywag. I mean, by love, I mean if Holocop ever dies, which is never happening, by the way. Holocop is never gonna die, because I'm gonna heal it when I get outside this battle. Did you know I'm gonna heal this Pokemon when I get outside the battle? When I open my bag, go to my bag, go to my healing items, and just use my Super Potion on... Holocop? Fun facts that you knew, because I repeated myself and I was telling myself, because I'm actually like... Sort of tired. Tired. Kinda tired. Sort of tired. But... I'm just tired of keeping my eyes open. I'm not like actually tired, but that might not make sense. Do you know about the legendary boat Pokemon? Yes, I know about Pharaoh. It's a hard capture Pokemon, so you should use your Master Ball on it. Shouts to that Prima Guide. Holy cops intimidate. Intimidated. I don't know, something. I'm trying to keep myself awake, but I'm being hypnosis. I'm being yawned. That's not good. It's a hoo hoo. Why am I worried about hoo hoo? I'm obviously tired. I should go to bed. The one route episode. Actually, that would be an episode and a half. I'd watch it. Actually, I do watch it. Wait, what am I saying? I watch most of these episodes if I have time. And if I don't have time, I'm like, <laughs> nope. I'm out. The Pidgey Auto. Actually, I've been wanting gum. I know this is completely off topic. I've been wanting to stream on Mitzel. I just want to see um, how Mitzel is doing. So I have like a layout like in mind. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stream like actual stream though. I'm going to might do a couple of test stream on like a second account. And if they go well, I might just stream on there. Okay, I do want to get into like 
day, not daily streaming, but maybe every uh, week a day streaming. And I don't really like Twitch as a platform. Like I said this multiple times, Twitch is a great streaming platform. I just don't approve of some of the moderator choices, and I don't want to just buy a platform like that. Especially since streaming will be more of a hobby than this. Like, it'd be way more of a hobby like this. Like, this is something I do because it's fun and hobby. Streaming is like that, but like, scale down. Because I don't know if I'm going to enjoy, like, actual streaming. Like, actually putting F1 to streaming. Uh, no. No one distract me from Winton. I, I thought I saw my thing. I thought I saw a W, but it's just my mom. Okay. Oh, we got an encounter. That's dope. Um, I told the up. Ooh, we got a swing up! I love this one up! Mammal swine pillows? Actually, I really love pillow swine. Pillow swine is definitely one of my favorite ice types. Then again, a lot of ice types are terrible. I'm gonna Dragon Age, it's not gonna kill us at level 43. Swing up! There we go. I closed my eyes on that too, so I couldn't see it. Powder Snow is a step ice type move. I want this. Give it to me. Okay. What should I name Swinnum? I think I'm gonna name him Martin. Martin. Hmm. I'm gonna use a random name generator. Actually. actually, you know what? I'm using a random name generator. I love doing this. Random name generator. Random name. You better get that Pokeball. Yes, I got that Pokeball. <laughs> Thomas Borden is the random generation on DuckDuckGo, but I don't use that. I wanna force. And middle name, three middle names, I would use it. I want five of these. I want random, I want a... It's a... a Swinub, the big Pokemon. It rubs the snout to th on the ground. It rubs the snout on the ground to find and dig up food. It sometimes discovers hot springs. Ooh. What a useful Pokemon. Do I want to give a name to Swinub? Of course, it's a male, like obvious, with Shindor, Mescaline. Let me use something different. Like, I got Momil, Constantin, Rini, Kristen, Zin. Okay, random name. Imagine having a proper name. Random password generator, that seems secure. There we go, this is the one I usually use. I like a real, this is a great Pokemon that's really real. That's, that's, that's a male name. Casey is a female name. Ilya is also a female name. I put We have... No, that doesn't make sense. Why is this terrible? Why is this site terrible? We have Tandy. Is Tandy a male name? Tandy... Person. Tandy is a female name. Why is this so bad? Oh, I don't want to give you guys male names. You put male name in the thing? Okay, let's go with common. Let's go with common. Average. Can I just get a male? We have Troy. Troy the swim up. Th I'm not using this common side again. Dude, that was so irritating, by the way. It literally gave me a list of female names. Oval and oval and oval. It's like... No, I want a male name for my male swin up, not a female name to my male swin up, which no offense, but that's not why I'm, my swin up will become a great and powerful mammal swine. I have not healed up Polygup, and if I did, I'm a complete idiot and somehow forgot about it. I think I healed up Polygup because I went on an entire speech about it. But we got two encounters. Did we do all stuff? Let's see if I can do my maze on the first try. If I can't do the maze on the first try, then I'm gonna become a complete idiot. Oh, this guy wants waterfall, right? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm actually gonna end the episode here. Also, because I wanna record. Uh, this is gonna take me forever if I do the puzzle. I know I'm gonna do the puzzle wrong at least five times. I'm not looking at the guide. I don't like using guides on stuff unless I really get lost. But we're just gonna run away from this. And I'm gonna just say, we're ending the episode here. Yep. Officially confirming it. 
And official legal form, that's all the confirmation you need. You didn't need me telling you 5,000 times. That's not official com um, comfort comfort tape. Okay, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you can press the like button. If you dislike it, well, you can press the dislike button. And if you made it to the end of the video, because you obviously did, unless you skipped it then, press subscribe because you obviously like my content enough to watch the end. But thanks for watching, and goodbye.